the people that are supporting me, you know, like it's about them. I was happy that I made them happy, so we're all happy. All of the people can be doctors and lawyers and what what. Everyone got his own talent. A lot of kids play games, but they don't know that you can actually take it to a level where it can make like a living for you. For Tabo, it's a bit different, right? He was young, 16 years old, winning such a monumental competition. When I started playing to where I am now, things have changed drastically. That is the end of the game of the Destiny Show from Tabo. Firstly, I had like a, you know, a TV game. My mom bought me a TV game. I used to play like in the house, but then my dad bought an Xbox 360, which was the latest at that time. Yeah, so it had like FIFA 08. Yeah, like it was a sick game, but I was like bad at it. Then I moved to, yeah, to Forest Hill where I live now, and I met Jabu. He was the one who, who had the console. He had the PS3 at that time. And I found him playing Another soccer game called PES, Pro Evolution Soccer. So every time I go to like their house and we play FIFA together. Then he, he taught me like about FIFA, he taught me, I don't know, skills and everything. But sometimes it'd be like, he, he wouldn't want to teach me sometimes. He was a better player before. Play tournaments the whole day against each other. When I taught him some skills, and then I still like new skills way more than he did, but he's still whipping me. It came a certain time where, like, I started thinking about competitive FIFA. Like, imagine if you could play FIFA online and all that. It was hectic at first, you know, losing every single thing. With the passing of his father recently, uh, he's become the sole breadwinner of his family. Uh, so the Goliath Gaming family, uh, we just try to help uh, ease the pressure. Uh, we help with groceries, we help with rent where we can. The fact that he is, I think he's going to turn into something very, very special. Last year, when I lost my husband, I just told myself that my life is going to be torn apart. I won't know where the front is, where the back is, but right now, I'm proud of my son. I don't want to lie. I'm proud of him. Like, I don't even have words for those things, for, for everything, actually. I didn't expect that, like, so many good players in South Africa. I thought, like, when I got there, I would instantly be the best. So there was actually a VS Gaming tournament. I had to sign up for it. I wouldn't see my friends for, like, three months, three to four months. I'm just in the house playing FIFA. That three months, like, he blocked everybody out. What we saw in Tabo uh, when we went through to the VS Gaming uh, 2018 FIFA Festival, uh, we were there along with our first FIFA player, Julio Bianchi. I physically met him at VS Gaming in 2018 when he won it. Um, yeah, it was fantastic to put a face to the voice. We were just there supporting Julio and uh, we happened to see a um, little young guy competing and um, we just loved the fact that there was people that age doing, you know, going that far. Just in that moment, I wasn't even thinking. Like, my brain was gone. I was just like, I was happy. Yeah, then I got home. I was like, oh, 3 a.m. that time. Then I knocked, and my mom answered the door, and I told her, yeah. I won the tournament. I could tell she was tired, so I just told her I'll go sleep. and talk about it in the morning. He just came to me like, oh, mom. Like, it's how he talk, mom. You know, I, I won money for my first tournament. Then I said, what? In the morning, she came to my room. Yeah, then she started asking me a lot of questions, like, what was going on? What did you win? Like, close to 400,000. I was like, Tabo, like, really? Then he said, yes, like, politely. Tabo is a quiet person. He don't like to talk too much. And she's like, nah, you're lying. I'm like, yeah. But then, like, I showed her pictures and everything. Like, she couldn't believe it. I just made peace with it that, uh, okay, Tavo now he's a player. He's a gaming, I mean, not a player. It's like, you know, <laughs> with girls, no. <laughs> like, uh, he's a gamer. 
I don't know, I think they asked for the bank account, whatever, so like it showed her, I'm like, yeah, I won. Yeah, then after that, I don't know, like she started supporting me. Like she saw that now, nah, this thing is actually real, you know. And me and my mom have quite a close relationship, like we tell each other everything, we were on that level, you know, so I'm glad I have her as my mom. I wouldn't choose anyone else for her. A few days after the tournament, actually, uh, we were searching for Tabo on social media. We were looking through Facebook, Twitter, Google, everything. We couldn't find anything about Tabo Malloy, no contact details. Uh, so we honestly, like, we gave up trying to get hold of him. Like, a lot of people are sending me messages on WhatsApp. I don't know where they got my number. You want to join this team, and I joined that team. I had a good friend of mine, which is my teammate today, Julio. Yeah, I asked him about Goliath, obviously. Julio. Uh, he gave me a call and he said, listen, young Savage, I uh, reached out to him and he got an offer from two other premier organizations and he wanted to know why Goliath Gaming haven't contacted him yet. I waited and waited. Eventually, uh, they came off of me. It was a done deal by the next day. So we thought that was super funny and yeah, Julia forwarded us his number and we pretty much made contact and signed him the next day. The, for the fact that it's close to me, you know, they paid a salary like it was different, like you're getting paid to play FIFA. It was like different for me. He put in lots of hours, lots of work, and that is what I saw in him. So it's obviously you need to have that desire to want to reach the top, and obviously Tabo showed that to me, and I obviously helped him. When I see that the Red Bull car came there, then they gave him the present, everything, you know, I said, yeah, this thing is a real thing now. Now I believe that this thing of a gaming is a real thing. My dream is to, I don't know, take it as far as I can, you know? But I want to win the, the World Cup, the biggest tournament of them all. I have a lot of hard work to do in the background, you know, behind the scenes. He's patiently waiting for that opportunity um, to go prove himself on the international stage. And I can say with absolute certainty, when he does get that chance, he's going to shock the world. But Tavo, it's still beginning. I mean, he's just got the biggest opportunities with Red Bull. He's been playing some of the best players in the world. He went to Dubai and over there, he kept crushing people. So you put him there against the same playing field, against the best players in the world. At that age, who knows the longevity of his career? Tavo is in a league of his own. There's no competition. He's, he's young savage.